Hey guys, thank you so much for being here. Today I'm gonna to be talking about the new Huda Beauty Icy Nude Palette. I'm gonna be doing comparisons with other palettes in my collection. I'm gonna be doing two looks as well, so we can really put this to the test, see if it's actually worth buying or not. So many of us are drowning in palettes right now, I know that I am, so it helps to really look at new releases in a critical way and just make sure that we're not buying something that we already have a million times over, and also that we're buying something that will actually get used out of. So this new palette is Huda's last 18 pan palette. She didn't say that she won't be releasing eyeshadow palettes in the future, just that this is the last big one. And I do think that's in line with the way that trends are right now. I feel like brands aren't coming out with the bigger palettes like they used to. So here we have a pretty cool tone color story overall. I'll just show you guys a close up of the palette. It's mostly cool tones, but there are definitely some warm shades in here. The column on the right hand side with the gold and peachy shades are definitely a little bit on the warmer side. Also in the top row, we have that dark warm brown called Unapologetic. So it's not a completely cool tone palette. And I know some of you may be disappointed with that because honestly, it's rare to see a brand come out with a palette that has no warmth in it. So it is what it is, but you do still get quite a few cool shades in here. So we have 11 11 mattes, seven shimmers and glitters, and a lot of these are actually very glittery. There are three shades that have more of the chunky glitter texture. There are three shades that are more metallic or like the old school shimmers. And then there's one called Bling that has really micro fine shimmer in it. And that one actually is a hot mess. When I went to go and swatch this shade in particular, I'll just show you quickly what this is like. This is very, very scratchy when you put your finger into it. The glitter is so loose. And I'll just show you what this looks like on my hand. Like when you swatch it, the glitter just goes everywhere. Like there's nothing holding this together. It is really loose. And I can see this getting all over my face. When you compare it to some of the chunky glitters that are in the palette, those have a little bit more of a wet or sticky base that they're in, so they're gonna grip a lot better. But this bling shade reminds me of like those pressed glitters from back in the day where it's literally just pressed into the pan, but there's nothing holding it together. There's no real formula to it. So I highly doubt I'm gonna be using that one just because I do have sensitive eyes and if I get glitter in there, plus I'm wearing contacts, it's just not a good situation. So anyway, there's definitely a variety of different types of textures in here. Of course, Huda's mattes are some of my favorite mattes. I think she does them so well. They're really silky, very smooth, and they just blend out incredibly on your eyes, which you'll see when I get to the look. So let's go ahead and get into the comparisons. The first one that I got so many requests for is the Stone Cold Fox palette from ColourPop. So this is one of my all-time favorite palettes. I love Stone Cold Fox. I use it all the time just because it has a really nice mix of those cool tones, which is what I wear most often, and then the warm tones as well. So you have you have options, and I love that about it. And I think looking at these side by side, I definitely do see the similarities between them. Stone Cold Fox obviously has more shades, but when I went to swatch them together, I tried to select the shades in Stone Cold Fox that would be the closest to the shades that are in Icy Nude. And I have to say, color-wise, there is a lot of similarity. But I would say the biggest difference that I see between them is in the shimmer shades. In the Icy Nude palette, the shimmers are really glittery, really foiled and metallic. Whereas in Stone Cold Fox, they're a little bit more satiny and maybe slightly metallic, but they're not quite as bold and blingy as they are in Icy Nude. So it really depends on what type of formula you're going for. If you like those brighter, really in your face kind of shimmers, then you might really love the Icy Nude palette. So next up, we have another really highly requested palette. This is the I Need a Nude from Natasha Denona. And again, I do see some similarity between them. I think that there are some cooler shades in the Icy Nude that I Need a Nude doesn't have. But again, seeing them swatch side by side, there is quite a bit of overlap between them. I Need a Nude doesn't have that cool duochrome shade that Icy Nude has, and it also doesn't have that bright foiled silver. But again, I just think the texture of the Natasha Denona shades is completely different. The glitters in Huda Beauty are just way more chunky. They make a bigger impact on your eyes, and the Natasha Denona are more of those wet look shimmers with the super, super fine glitter. So it's really just a different type of look. And again, I think you have to decide for yourself 
which one you prefer when it comes to doing eye looks. I know that the wet look shadows like Natasha Denona does are really popular right now, but I also know that a lot of you guys prefer those more old school like foiled full pigment shimmers. So it really, it just depends on your preferences. Next up, I also got some requests to compare it to the 1111 palette from ColourPop. And to me, this is just a pared down version of I Need a Nude from Natasha Denona. So I figured that these were probably gonna be pretty similar. And once I swatched them, I definitely can see the similarities here. I think some of the mattes look really similar. I think the shimmers also look really similar. I think these are slightly brighter and more foiled than the shimmers that are in Stone Cold Fox. This is a newer palette palette from ColourPop. So I think they are a little bit closer when it comes to just matching the intensity of the shimmers from Huda Beauty. But again, they are different. The ones in the 1111 palette are your traditional full pigment metallic shimmer shades. They're not glitters. So there is still a formulation difference, but these are going to pop a little bit more on your eyes. So if you like more bold shimmer shades, you might be okay with the stoop. It is a smaller palette as well. And I see some slight over overlap in some of the Huda Beauty palette as well. So I don't know that we necessarily need all 18 shades. You could probably get away with more of a 12 pan palette like the 1111. Next up, a lot of you also wanted to see it next to the Rose Quartz palette from Huda Beauty. And this one, honestly, I'm a huge fan of Rose Quartz. This is one of my favorite palettes that Huda ever did. It is a true cool tone palette. Again, you have one or two shades in there that are a little bit warmer, but for the most part, this is just gorgeous. It's like a pink and purple lover's dream. And also the duo chromes in here are just so fantastic. It's like I said, it's one of my favorite palettes that she has ever done. And I really don't see a lot of similarity here, especially when it comes to the shimmer shades. I think maybe with the mattes, there are a few that are similar, but even then I just feel like Rose Quartz is very pink and purple leaning and you just don't see those colors in Icy Nude. So I don't really think these are the same at all. And then I also got requests to show it next to Pretty Grunge from Huda Beauty. And again, I do see a lot of similarity here when it comes to the matte shades for sure. I don't think the shimmers are particularly similar. Pretty Grunge has a lot of just metallic shades. They're not glitters. So there's a difference in formulation, but I also just think Pretty Grunge runs a lot deeper than Icy Nude. So it's similar vibes, but kind of a darker version of it. I, and I think for me having a lighter skin tone and also as somebody who just doesn't go deep and smoky very often, I think I prefer the color story of Icy Nude a little bit more than I do Pretty Grunge. Another one that you guys also asked me about is the Cloud Nine palette from ColourPop. So this one, also, I think when you look at these in the pan side by side, they do look really similar. Cloud9 has that pop of gold. You have that kind of shimmery bluish silver. You have the grays and the cooler taupe shades. So I do definitely see the similarity, but I don't know. When I swatched it, I didn't feel like there was a lot of similarity, maybe a little bit, but Cloud9 is 100% cool tone. Maybe that's just what's throwing me off because the Huda palette does have those warm shades in there that Cloud9 just doesn't have. And again, you do have some formula differences here too. Cloud9 doesn't have glitter at all. So I don't think these are as similar as I thought they were going to be when I looked at them at first glance, but I guess there are some shades that you could compare and say that they're pretty close. So I'd love to hear what you guys think about just the comparisons and whether or not any of them swayed you to either buy this palette or not buy it. Personally, I feel like I probably didn't need to buy this one because a lot of these are really similar and glitter isn't necessarily my thing. I think the most glitter that I do is like the wet look shimmers that are in Natasha Denona. I'm cool with those, but with these chunkier glitter shades, it's not really like my vibe. I actually prefer more of the smooth metallic shimmers that are in some of the other palettes. But either way, I wanted to do two looks today. So I'm gonna do one on one half of my face, one on the other. I am wearing mostly Huda Beauty products today. I used her Easy Blur foundation and I have it in the shade Shortbread. I also used her Blurring Blush and this is in the shade Strawberry Cream. I really like this formula. I think it's beautiful. On my lips, I'm wearing the Lawless Forget the Filler Lip Liner in Pink Slip and I just topped it with 
the Neutrogena lip oil, which is clear. So I think for the first look with the palette, I want to do something kind of pinky, mauve because there are those tones in here. And then on the other side, I think I want to do something a little bit more fun and blue. So for the pinky side, I'm going to start with the shade IDGAF. It's a super light pale pink. I'm just going to pick this up on the Angie Hot and Flashy A503 brush from BK Beauty. And I'm actually just using this to set my eyeshadow primer. I used the P. Louise base just to kind of even everything out. This really doesn't show up as a color on me at all. It's super pale. It's actually close to my skin tone color. So next I'm going to apply the shade Lavish, which is this pink down here. And I'm just going to start working that one into my crease. Again, like I said before, Huda's mattes are some of my favorite. I think they just blend out so effortlessly. And I also love this color against my skin tone too. It's not the kind of pink that makes you look like you're coming down with a cold or something. It actually has a nice dusty quality to it. It's almost just like a pinky brown, but it's really beautiful. All right, then next, just to deepen that up a little, I'm gonna take the shade High Life, which is this deeper pink right here. And I'm just gonna start putting that in my crease a little lower down. This is the Refer Number no. One Mini. And I'm just kind of packing that along the lower edge of my crease. And then I'm just gonna take that A503 brush and just blend that out. Next, to deepen the outer corner, I'm gonna take this deep, cool brown up here called Faux Fur, again on that Refer Number no. One Mini. And I'm just gonna pack this in the outer corner of my eye just to add some dimension. So this is a nice little flat brush. Great for hooded eyes, by the way. And just gonna pack that on. And then I'm taking the Refer number 15 mini, which is a smaller fluffy brush. And I'm just gonna blend that out a little bit. I'm actually racing against the clock today because I have to go pick up my son from school soon. I used like the whole morning to basically um, film all the swatches. And now I have like 15 minutes before I have to leave to go pick him up. And then it's just gonna be a whirlwind of like trick-or-treating and Halloween stuff so I really need to get this video done so hopefully my eye looks come out okay and they're not a complete and total mess but Anyway, for my lid, I'm gonna apply the shade Aurora, which is this beautiful pink shimmer. And this is one of the like more traditional metallic pink shades. It's not a glitter, but look at how beautiful this shade is. Oh my goodness. And I didn't even use glitter primer or anything. I didn't wet my finger first, but yet it just has so much intensity going on and it really is gripping to my skin well. There's not a lot of fallout to it. It is so beautiful. I mean, just for a close up, look at that, how pretty. It's so gorgeous. I think I also wanna grab this shade VVS, which is right next to it. And it's like a really light marbled shade. It has some pink in it and some gold. And I'm just gonna pop this right in the center of my lid just to kind of brighten things up even more. Yeah, that is gorgeous. Really, really love that. All right, so now let's move over to the other side. I'm gonna pick up the shade Oneself, which is this really super pale gray down here. Again, just to kind of set my eye base, it's not gonna end up applying too much color on my skin tone, I don't think, just slightly. Next, I'm gonna grab the shade Poised, which is a mid-tone gray. And I'm gonna pick this up on that flat refer number one mini brush and just kind of pack this on the outer corner and drag it back in toward the crease. I like that she added some mid-tones in here. Like this gray is beautiful and so is the pink that I used on the other side. I think these are perfect crease colors for me. And this formula is so good that even on days like today when I'm in a hurry, I still don't have to spend forever blending. It just ends up looking really nice anyway because these shadows are just really, really easy. All right, next I'm just gonna add a smidge of this really deep dark shade She Rich down here. I'm just gonna put a tiny little bit of that in the outer corner, but I don't wanna make this look too dark and smoky. So I'm just gonna shear this out a little so it doesn't end up looking too deep, but I still wanna add that definition to my outer corner. All right, and for my lid, I really wanna try this shade Iced Out up here. It looks white in the pan, but it almost comes off blue. It has this 
gorgeous duochrome shift. It's super stunning. I am having a little bit of fallout under my eye, but not too bad. I just love this. It kind of shifts to almost like a blue purple. It's not a straight up blue. And I also want to take just a little bit of this shade Diamond Dew right here and just pop this again right in the center of my lid just to kind of brighten things up a little bit. Ooh, that is so pretty. It adds this beautiful shiny silver foiled look to the eye. Yeah, I like that even better. I feel like the shade Iced Out, which was that really pretty duochrome, wasn't super blingy and shimmery. So I felt like my eyes didn't quite match because this one has a lot going on like in terms of the brightness. So adding Diamond Dew on top of it just made it pop a little bit more. So I'm just gonna go ahead and add some mascara and liner and I'll be right back. Okay, so here's a look at both eyes. Again, we have this really pretty pinky look over here and then more kind of blue and silvery on this side. So if I just cover up one eye at a time, we have the pink look over here. And then we have the blue one on this side. So I think you can definitely get very different looks out of this palette. And I didn't even use every shade. So you have a lot of options with this one. And you know, even when I was doing all of the comparisons this morning, I was thinking I wasn't really gonna love this one because it reminds me of so many other things that I have. But I have to say, as far as the textures go, this one is just a little bit more sparkly than the other options that I have. It's a little more blingy. Like I'm not getting either one of these looks out of the I Need a Nude palette from Natasha Denona. I'm not getting like the blue and silver like this. And also I'm not even getting these rosy tones in I Need a Nude because the shimmers in that palette are basically like browns and taupes and grays. So I do actually think this is a bit different now that I've played with it. Now, is it gonna become a favorite palette of mine? It remains to be seen. This is a first impression. So I'll have to just keep playing with it. And you'll know if you see it pop up in a favorites video in a month or two. But for now, I can say it is different than Stone Cold Fox. It is different than I Need a Nude. I haven't gotten these looks with either one of those palettes. Um, same thing with Pretty Grunge, which I think is just deeper and smokier overall. I might be able to get similar looks with Rose Quartz, but again, that one also, a lot of the matte shades are more pink and purple, whereas you're not getting those tones in here. So it really just depends, I think, on what you're going for. But I am actually super super happy and kind of surprised, frankly, with how the looks came out today. And I love Huda's formula, like I said, so I think that made things a lot easier. I would love to hear your thoughts down in the comments below. Are you planning on buying this? Are you planning to skip it? Let me know what you think. The Sephora sale is coming up, Black Friday's coming up. So what are your thoughts? I actually just did a video recently about Sephora versus Black Friday. So if you wanna check that out, I'll put it right here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I truly appreciate you taking the time out of your day to watch this. And I hope you all have a great rest of your day and I'll see you in my next video. Take care guys. Bye.